uh, this is Romy Fauzi and this is another episode of our 3D shoot with them up uh, uh, using Unity and Playmaker tutorial and in this I think this is the ninth episode and in this episode I'm going to fix the uh, enemy system a bit and also create a health system for the enemy okay so let's get to it okay here I have a enemy group and as you can see we already covered how to launch the child and with this system there is a couple issues uh, I think there is one issues where the uh, this ship is get launched but sometimes when you uh, destroy or you shoot the ship and it will only get four and we have uh, only four children will, will get launched so as you can see here we have one remaining that still inactive so this is a problem mainly because I think the get next child will confuse when we if we tr uh, if we destroy the child so the order of the child will get uh, I think maybe reshuffled the order of the child so I create a new system in order to do that so we are going to remove the get next child and I'm going to create a new integer variable and this is basically for the current index uh, child index okay so we are going to get the child count here first under the trigger event under the first state and then store the num ch the child count to the num child and here we are going to get the child number so we are going to get the child by its index so choose the index uh, the current index and store this to a current child and then we activate the child here I'm going to add a new state and we are going to increment index here so after activate the child connect the finish to this increment index and add a uh, finish transition and we are going to use an integer add choose the current index and add this by one and uh, I don't think it's good idea to use finish so I'm going to create a new uh, event I'm going to name this continue add a transition continue and connect this back to the get child number and here I'm going to use an integer compare so basically the first integer we are going to compare our current index with our num child so basically if it's uh, less than we are going to continue the action but if it's already equal or greater than we are going to stop go to the uh, get child number so it will stop launching the child so basically this is like array like iterating an array but this is a, a bit manual okay let's try this see if it's working now we have five enemy and I'm going to shoot one of them oh sorry there is an error here okay sorry we need to change the launch child to finish so I'm going to change the transition event to finish because launch child never gets launched okay save the scene and let's try again hopefully it's working this time ah there you go we have a working and as you can see here I'm going to pause scene and we don't have a child anymore so basically all of the childs get launched and we can destroy all of them in order to fix this uh, to fix the other one so I'm going to copy the FSM copy component and then I'm going to paste its value here so paste component value so the second one will automatically get changed and we have a better system with the enemy group okay now let's create a health for the fighter for the enemy fighter so we can choose the fighter low prefab here and can edit the prefabs and 
under the enemy lives we are going to create a new variable so let's create a I don't know float variables yeah float variables okay let's name this enemy lives or an enemy power and let's give it a value of maybe 3 and here we are going to uh, create a new event hit by player so we need two different transition for the uh, trigger event here under the trigger event uh, the second one uh, when it gets hit with uh, by the player change this to hit by player and then connect this to destroy and for the get hit I'm going to create a new state and rename this state to decrease power and connect get hit to this decrease power here we are going to use a float subtract choose the enemy power variable and subtract this by one and we can create a explosion if you want to so just create an object uh, choose the game object of the explosion prefabs where is it let's miss let me see here why I cannot see it Ex ah, yeah, there you go and for the spawn point we can use the blaster position uh, that we have retrieved from our trigger event here and then we can use a float compare so basically if the enemy power is a last or equal than zero let's create a new transition uh, or we can use get hit transition and connect this to destroy so basically if it's equal hit uh, get hit or less than get hit and if it's greater than then we can use finish so it's still alive okay so now I'm going to move our power ups here so we can easy uh, can easy so it's easier to shoot the enemy using this power up ah, there. as you can see we cannot we can easily kill the enemy using this power up we need to shoot them twice now we can copy this FSM the fighter low prefabs edit the prefabs and copy the enemy lives and go to the second prefabs here and I'm going to paste the component values so if we check our enemy life it has the same uh, decreasing power and we can change this enemy power maybe to let's say around 5 so maybe the yellow one it's harder to kill to destroy let's destroy this and if we're using the laser it will get destroyed let's check the laser damage power I'm not sure how big is it big laser prefabs and damage power is 6 okay and this this enemy life is how much is 5 okay let's try this again once more oh okay sorry I have one thing that is wrong <laughs> so basically we are not going to subtract this by one but we are going to subtract this with the damage power so I'm very sorry that I missed that uh, part so okay let's just create a new 
damage uh, power variable of float and we are going to use a get fsm float okay put this on the top of the stack I'm going to specify a game object and let's get it from our blaster and here let's see our blaster prefabs okay we are going to copy the blaster move name and go back to our fighter low prefab B I think edit prefab uh, paste the name of the blaster and just type the variable name to damage power and we are going to store this to our damage power our local damage power here and then under the float subtract we are going to subtract this with the damage power okay so let's save the scene and I'm going to copy this component and paste this to the other fighter low prefabs that's component value base component value and then under the decrease power let's see okay we already paste this setting and it gets subtract with that variable here okay now one thing we need to make sure that our standard blaster have the same name uh, because this is has a different name so we are going to paste this uh, blaster move to its FSM name so all of the blaster should have the same FSM name because we are relying on that FSM name to get that damage power variable let's try it once more and cross your finger hope it's it's, it's working I think it's working and let's destroy this I'm oh, sorry I didn't get the big laser power up so this is the blue laser power ups and okay this is the big laser ah there you go it gets destroyed right away there is a an issue a bit issue where the I'm sorry the the explosion is when we are using the big laser the explosion is starting from the bottom part of the big laser as you can see here it's too far from the ship so we are going to fix this by fixing the prefabs of the big laser drag the big laser prefabs here and center this out okay so basically the big laser pivot is over here so I'm going to change it let's move to the front here and I'm going to move the big laser and I'm going to change its box collider so it fits our particle okay and then press apply and then delete this let's try it once more pick this big laser power up and let's destroy it uh, I think this is better I think for the big laser we need to have a faster movement so choose the big laser prefab and maybe translate it with a faster value of maybe 60 I'm going just to try this once more uh, I think this is better okay I think this working nicely so that's all for this episode for the enemy lives uh, I hope you like what you're watching and if you like it please subscribe stay tuned for another unity and playmaker tutorial thanks a lot for watching see you on the next episode bye